Now, President Trump reacted to Roger Stone's guilty verdict earlier today in about the most Trump way possible. So earlier today, uh, Roger Stone was convicted in about seven counts, including lying to Congress, uh, you know, uh, witness tampering, obstruction of justice, uh, on charges brought forward by special counsel Robert Mueller. So Mueller claims another victim. Uh, so now Trump tweeted about this, uh, and this is some fun whataboutism. Um, he said, so, so they now convict Roger Stone of lying and want him in jail for many years to come. It's very likely that he's not going to get the full 30 to 50 years. Um, it's going to probably get a very much reduced sentence. Uh, but nonetheless, Trump not happy about this. Uh, and he says or asks, what about crooked Hillary, Comey, Strzok? That's uh, Strzok and Page are the two FBI agents uh, who were uh, looking into Donald Trump. And then they showed an anti-Trump bias, which, by the way, they also showed an anti-Hillary and anti-Bernie Sanders bias. They didn't like anybody that was running. Uh, and that once they uh, found to have had that bias, they were fired from the team. Uh, I believe one had resigned. The other was fired. Uh, and so they didn't actually work on the case. Um, Trump also added McCabe, Brennan, James Clapper, Adam Schiff or Shifty Schiff, or and Nellie Steele and all of the others, including even Mueller himself. Didn't they lie? A double standard like never seen before in the history of our country. And all of these are, of course, in question marks. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. Out of your entire list of people, who actually did crime? Who did crime? See, you actually have to do crime in order to be a criminal, in order to be locked up, right? Well, Roger Stone did crime. He lied to Congress. He was dishonest uh, and obstructed justice and intimidated a witness, Randy, uh, Mr. Credico. Did any of those people do any of that? No, that, that's the obvious cut, uh, answer. All those people did. Their biggest crime was being against Donald Trump. That's what that is. Yes, even Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, by the way. Hillary Clinton testified for 11 straight hours about Benghazi. Did she lie about it? No. Why even the Republican investigations into, uh, into Benghazi found that she had done nothing wrong. The Obama administration did nothing wrong. So who did the crimes? Who did the crimes? Look, Hillary Clinton is one of the worst politicians I've ever seen, right? Hillary Clinton loves going to war and, and denying middle class things like Medicare for all or free college, right? And she even appears to have a, a problem with trans people, like she's a turf now. Um, but even Hillary Clinton, with all of her terrible flaws, not a criminal, at least when it comes to breaking U.S. law. She hasn't broken any U.S. laws. So Roger Stone, again, did. Paul Manafort, did. General Flynn, did. <laughs> All these people around Donald Trump just happen to be criminals. George Papadopoulos, did. Went to prison. Come on, dude. You're surrounded by criminals because you are a criminal. Jeez. Uh, but okay. You know, speaking of criminals, right? Uh, and obstructing justice or intimidating witnesses. Who else did that? Who else? Oh, oh, right. Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, look, during the Mueller investigation, Donald Trump obstructed justice uh, about 10 times. That, that was what the Mueller report said. Now, the reason that they didn't go after uh, Donald Trump from the Mueller report uh, that Mueller didn't is because he said, well, you know, I look, I can't charge a sitting president. That's up to Congress. And Congress has a way of doing things about removing these presidents who actually do obstruct justice. It's called impeachment. That's why we're in the middle of impeachment hearings, or at least one of the reasons. And actually, to be honest, look, the Democrats dropped uh, the Mueller investigation and went straight to Ukraine. It should be something to tie that in because, again, the president had already obstructed justice. And by the way, he would have tried to obstruct justice even more 
or actually he did try and would have succeeded had the people that he had ordered to obstruct justice actually followed uh, his orders. See, there's this funny thing with Donald Trump is that generally he will order people to do illegal things. And there are people that are more than willing to do it. Michael Cohen, by the way, is co-conspirator, currently in prison, uh, who had, yes, done all of these illegal things on behalf of Donald Trump. That's why he's in prison. But there are people that are like, no, I'm not going to do these illegal things. Or they say, oh, yes, yes, sir, we're going to get on it. And then they don't. And, and that was something that people would do. And they would do it knowingly and be like, yeah, uh, he would tell me to do something illegal. I would say, yes, sir. And then I'd just not do it. And then he'd forget about it because I'm not going to do anything illegal for him. I'm not going to go to prison. Great example is uh, in one of his hotels, he instructed the builders to not put Braille on the elevators. What's well, a federal law that you're supposed to put Braille on the elevators? According to the Americans for Disabilities Act. What did they do? Trump says, I don't like it. it it's unsightly. It's, I would saw this. I don't like it. Doesn't look good. Well, we can't just remove it. I want it gone. And then they just didn't do it because it's illegal. It's illegal. So there are people around him who, you know, were ordered to do things that are illegal and he just, and they didn't do it. Uh, and so he's actually kind of lucky because that way only 10 counts of obstruction that they found in the Mueller report. Uh, but okay, not only that, but right. But as far as witness intimidation goes, we have an example of Donald Trump openly attacking a witness today. This is former uh, Ukraine ambassador Yovanovitch, Marie Yovanovitch. Uh, and this was during her testimony. He was live tweeting and attacking her. Good God, he's dumb. I mean, come on, dude. But also, he's also dangerous. And that's really important to point out. Because here's the president saying, Oh, you're locking up my friend, my ally, Roger Stone? Well, what about all my political opponents? Why don't you lock them up too? Why don't you go to prison? Why, why don't you send them to prison? They were lying. No, there's no, nobody, none of them were lying. And there's no proof of that. There's plenty of proof that, that uh, Roger Stone had done these crimes. I mean, it, what, took a couple of days for the jury to deliberate? before coming up in the unanimously guilty verdict of all seven counts? I mean, come on. Uh, but Trump is saying right here, why don't we throw my political enemies in prison too? And I know we're not supposed to be shocked at this time, uh, uh, you know, because of this, because Donald Trump is, is basically saying, lock up my political opponents. And we've heard it so long, so often over the past three. In fact, we heard it during the campaign. Back in 2016, we heard Trump's crowd say, lock her up, lock her up in regards to Hillary Clinton. So I think a lot of us are numb to it. But in reality, this is not normal and shouldn't be normalized, even though, unfortunately, it seems to be. It should be incredibly troubling to anybody who actually cares about law and order, facts, and, and even reality. If, there, if this isn't more evidence that Trump is completely unstable and an unlawful president, I, I don't know what is. He is unstable. He is unlawful. He's a criminal, and we've got to do something about it. Now, hopefully impeachment is, is that thing. Hey, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm, messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media